up guys, Type Zero Tech here. I hope everyone's having a happy and safe and healthy holiday. I hope everyone's enjoying this time of joy. 2020 has been insane and I'm hoping we just end it with a bang in a good way. I feel like I gotta say that now, in a good way. Okay. Anyway, we ain't got time for this. This is the last minute holiday gift guide. If you're watching this, you do not have time to mess around. There's only nine days left, maybe even eight if I don't upload this until tomorrow. Hopefully I get it uploaded tonight so I can technically say you had nine days even though it's kind of like, eh, because the nine days would have been like eight days and some shit. Anyway, we don't have time for all this. This is the last minute holiday gift guide and this is just for all you that had gift giving block that just waited and procrastinated. I got you. Let's get to the first item. This is the Kenu Stance phone stand. And I actually stumbled on this while I was trying to find a way to shoot B-roll for my various devices without taking too much attention away from the devices themselves. It's available for both USB-C Android devices and iPhones. And don't let this little guy's small footprint fool you. The build quality is solid. The thing is all metal, so you don't have to worry about durability. Well, all metal except for the little tip here that goes in your phone. That's of course plastic, but again, you shouldn't have to worry about it. You can just throw this in your bag and for the most part, you should be good. Pretty much you just plug it into your phone's USB-C or lightning port and it keeps your device freestanding. This is perfect if you're looking for a small and lightweight solution to free up your hands while you're on the go for FaceTime or video calls or even just watching videos in general. And for mobile photographers and vloggers, this is actually really good if you're setting up for a long or extended recording session, if you need to shoot time lapses, or if you're just trying to get long exposures such as night mode photos. Now, as you can see here, it has a built-in bottle opener, but it's terrible. Don't use it, do not have any expectations for it, and do not get it for that reason. It's horrible, I just wanted to say I told y'all that, I didn't want y'all to order it and be like, yo, this thing sucks. I'm not recommending it as a bottle opener, no, don't do it. But as a phone stand, awesome. So just had to get that out there. This comes in at just under $15. And as of the recording of this video, it can actually be found for as low as $10, as long as you're in no hurry to get it before the holidays. Now, for those of you who just cringe at the idea of your smartphone being stood up by its charge port, we have the Amaton foldable smartphone stand. It's a safer, albeit slightly bigger solution. As a result of this, it can support larger devices, such as tablets, and it also keeps your charge port open just in case you need to juice up your device. The entire stand is made from aluminum alloy, and it has these small rubber pads that help keep slips and scratches from making their way to your precious tech. Just like its name implies, the stand folds up for easier storage and travel. And for the three months I've had it for just under $13, I have no complaints. Moving on, this is the Chiffon Fast Charge Cable. And if you or someone you know uses multiple devices that use different charge ports, this is definitely something you wanna check out. First things first, it's braided, so it's stronger than your average cable. You know, just in case you might ever have to Agent 47 somebody. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. These are just jokes. There's no need to alert the authorities, or even worse, dislike the video. These tips have these little adapters at the end of them, which pretty much allows you to charge any device you may have. And they're also attached to the cable itself, so there's no chance of you losing them, which is always a plus. It has this leather-like strap attached to it to help keep it together for more compact storage. And it's also capable of charging up to 60 watts. This means you can charge your phones, your tablets. This thing can even charge your MacBooks, provided you have a powerful enough adapter to do so. Lastly, it comes in both three foot and six foot variants. So for just under $11, this holiday season, you can give the gift of reduced cable clutter. And I think that's a gift we can all appreciate. Following that, we have the Anchor PowerPort Atom 3 Slim. Why are these names so long? Unlike most adapters that are bulky and like to leave the prongs exposed, this one rocks a very slim profile and does so while still being able to charge at 30 watts. Thanks to the gallium nitride semiconductors inside, you get more efficient performance while still being able to fit it in the slimmest of jeans with minimal pocket bulge. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a big kid at this point because I, I really, the words, certain words you just don't get to say and then it's like bulge, really. Like, we don't have time for this, what am I doing? Let's go. <laughs> At less than $23, this comes in both black and white colors. There's also a 45 watt option for those of you that need even more power in a very compact form factor.
If you or someone you know is into smartphone videography or vlogging, this is something I highly recommend checking out. This is called the newer smartphone video rig, and I love this thing. This allows you to better stabilize your shot, which always looks more professional in the final project. It has two cold shoe mounts, so you can add attachments such as lights and mics. It has a bunch of 1 4 inch threads at the top to offer you even more attachment points, and there's three at the bottom to give you a variety of mounting options. There's also an adjustable clamp that allows the use of smartphones of pretty much any size. For $20, this is awesome value with a wealth of expandability options. Also, in case you couldn't tell, this thing is all metal. Metal. Ah. Dang. My first one was plastic and broke after just one drop. This is a freaking tank by comparison. And after about eight months, I really don't see any signs that durability is gonna be a problem. Here we have a 64 gigabyte Team Group TI-83 USB 3.2 Gen 1 thumb drive. Why the heck are these things named so long? <laughs> Just so you know, this is also available in 128 gigabyte version that I'll probably be picking up this week. And it's also one of my favorite purchases of the year. At $11, the build quality on this thing is insane. It's dustproof, shockproof, and waterproof. So don't be afraid if it takes a few drops. Waterproof? Hold up. Waterproof? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know we ain't got time for this, but no, 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 no. I, I, I'm not gonna sit here and just take this on the advertisers. No, no, we're not doing that. I'm not, I'm no, no, I'm not doing that. Waterproof? I get shockproof because the thing's made of metal, so it's great. Shockproof, dustproof, fine, but waterproof? Waterproof? Nah, man. We ain't playing that. Ugh. That ain't that ain't what we doing today. That's not the kind of time we on. I mean, we we ain't on, look, don't get me wrong. We don't really have time for this. We're on borrowed time. But this is my name is my name, <laughs> okay? Now, to be honest with you, I've had this for a good while now. It's been through a couple of drops. Again, it's all metal, no problem. But waterproof? I'm not about to sit here and spit that off without testing it. Let's go. Okay, so it's been around 24 hours later. I had to let it dry, you know, give it a reasonable amount of time. Cause you don't just dip it in, take it out of the water and then give it a quick dry off on the outside. You gotta let the end, you gotta turn it upside down, let the internals come out a little bit. Or I guess you could just hit it with a hair dryer. Hmm. I really wasted a day for nothing there. Sorry guys. Anyway, moment of truth time. I apologize for the momentary lapse of quality, but this had to be done for the sake of science. Okay, well more so integrity, but yeah. Now this is the first time I'm doing this, believe it or not. I have not checked it before this. I want to share this moment with y'all. So let's see. Okay. As y'all see, it still works. Dipped it in water, let it sit there for a few seconds, took it out, let it dry, and it's working just fine. Let me turn that down a bit, that's a little overwhelming. But yeah, it's pretty much just a simple boot drive, but uh, yeah, it works just fine. Let me see if I can get that ESD, USB-G. So, uh, yes, what's up? Okay, team group, you passed, you passed. It's good, good. I refuse to let this be a part of the video without testing that out. Again, we don't have time, so I'm gonna move on. But you guys passed, you made a great little product here. So I'll give y'all that. This time, what about next time? Hmm? Hmm? I'm gonna cut all this out because the video is probably gonna be like 10 over 10 minutes anyway. So y'all might not even see this part because I'm just being silly at this point. I don't even know if y'all wanna see that. Let me get on with the rest of the video. So let's get back on track here. This is a very little nifty gadget, not only offering a ruler and a good bottle opener, as you can see here, but there's also a really strong magnet right there. Now you might be wondering, what do I need that for? Well, if you're a computer geek, I mean, 
come on. This thing has come in handy multiple times when taking apart my laptop because I don't have a magnetic tool set. So this is pretty much it. And it's coming handy because I used to lose screws all the time and it'd be so frustrating. Now, just take this little thing since I always have it near me, pop it out, place it to the side, I'm good. So it's good for that. And the like I said, it's really strong as you'll see in this one. I'm wiggling the little keychain around a little bit. I'm lifting it up and it's stuck on there. And if you take a look at the one with the bottle cap, that thing is not moving. It even slides and then reattach. It's crazy. So team group, good job. I really like this thing. Again, it's definitely hands down one of my favorite purchases of the year for just 11 bucks. And I think you can actually get the 128 gigabyte version for 16, which again, I'll probably be getting later this week, but yeah. This one's more of an honorable mention since it's actually above the $25 price point, but I really wanted to mention it. If you're like me and your work slash battle station is powered by a laptop, then this is something you should check out. This is the Macaulay vertical laptop stand. If you're looking to save space on your desk, not only is this low profile, it's also adjustable. So it works with laptops of all sizes and depths. It's currently housing my Alienware 15 R3. And while that's a fairly thick seven and a half pound beast of a gaming laptop, it's holding up just fine. The stand is made of steel, so durability hasn't been a problem for me. The positioning promotes better airflow throughout the system and the padding both inside and under the base ensures that your laptop stays put and scratch free when being placed in and out of the stand. Well guys, that's it. You made it through it. I really appreciate it. Global affiliate links are available in the description below. So no matter where you are in the world, I should have you covered. Just so you know, purchases made through them do go to help out the channel at no additional cost to you. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. I really enjoyed making it, even though it was a bit last minute. Also be sure to slap that notification bell to be alerted when future videos drop. Also, uh, be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like in the comments below. It's always encouraging to see positive feedback and constructive criticism is always welcome and appreciated. It's been a crazy year, guys, and I just hope everyone can at least finish it being safe, happy, and healthy, enjoying time with your families, whether it be in person or virtually. It's just, you really, like this year, I think has taught everyone, you really gotta be thankful for just what you have, because at any moment you could get sick, you could just lose, you could lose whatever is important to you. So I would emphasize everybody take this time, be appreciative, be thankful, and just take it, take every day one step at a time. Just enjoy, enjoy it while you're here, because you never know. As always, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your holiday content consumption. Now hurry up and get those gifts. You don't have time. Hurry. What are you still doing watching this? Get wait, wait, first, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Then go get the gifts. In fact, no, no, no. Go get go in the car, start it up, because you gotta warm it up because it's cold out there. And then while you're doing that, like and subscribe the video. Cut off the phone because I don't want you to get pulled over and I ain't trying to get you distracted driving and all that. And then go to the store and start the car driving, go to the store, get the gifts, come back, watch another one. Yeah, that. In that order. Yes. Do that. I'm just, no, <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> oh man. For real though, this is Type Zero Tech signing off for the day. And I wish you and your families a healthy, safe, and joyful holiday. Peace. <laughs>